Their water barrels are really nice for quick, easy ways of collecting a good amount of water uh, for use in the garden. So in our case, we have a 55 gallon underneath this gutter. That's a hose that kind of directs and waters into that. So it works really nice, 55 gallons uh, is not a lot for specifically for this garden but it's it's sufficient amount that you can get a good amount of water uh, that you could use in between rains the issue with the rain barrels especially when you have a 55 gallon hooked up to a gutter that collects water on a whole roof is that these things collect crazy fast so we're getting a couple inches of rain right now and it's draining i don't think it's at the top but it's getting cl close to the top even though the hose is open and water is coming out of this hose at a fairly good rate so i put it on the top and eventually just kind of makes its way onto there but it's certainly not uh draining as fast as much as it is collecting and the problem where you're trying to have this is typically your rain barrel is at the edge of a foundation and if this thing starts overflowing instead of a gutter diverting and elsewhere now you have a collection of hundreds of gallons going right next to your foundation and it's not used to that amount and you could have issues with water getting into the house so if you're going to use a rain barrel which is great you do have to cut a gutter it's a bit unfortunate but if you have a setup like this make sure you always connect something to the overflow so in this case it's just a 10 foot pvc pipe that if it does overflow it just goes out over there and then down the driveway rather than out at that spout and down into this into my rock wall and into, into my foundation so they are nice, but it's incredible how fast they do fill up, and that's not something you want to be draining towards your foundation. You want it away from your foundation.